Oh man, here's one that uh, people love weirdly. Really. We went to, as a joke, like ironically, I guess, we went to a Michael Bolton uh, concert at the Hollywood Bowl last mm. Sunday because our friend had two extra tickets. So we were like, yeah, sure, we'll go with you. How- this will be funny, right? See some old Michael Bolton hits and Air Supply was on too. So yeah, we'll see. We'll 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 see a bunch of like old timers reliving their glory days and Michael Bolton. Mm. He's always a good show, right? So we get there, and shortly after we get there, we say something's uh, something's a little bit unusual here uh, at the Michael Bolton concert. Looking around, walking in, going through the underpass under uh, under Highland Boulevard, and I say something is. Do you see what I'm seeing? I say yes, I absolutely do. Every single person here is Asian, a forty year old Asian, all Asian couples and families acting like they're going to see the Beatles. Michael Bolton comes out. There's a couple oldsters. There's a couple old white people in the audience. But otherwise, it's like a Korean church packed <laughs> to the gills. Everybody's got their camera out, chittering excitedly. Holy, you know, very <laughs> polite. I've got to go like in and out of the rows, but all very Asian. It was like somebody had dumped Hollywood Park Casino onto, <laughs> uh, onto the. So Michael Bolton comes out. And he goes, he sings his, his the Hercules song. He's singing it and he goes, no, nah, I remember he's talking like Frankenstein, right? Because he sold and he goes, I remember the first hit I had in a country that English is not their first language. And all the Asian people, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, man, and we did a bunch of mushrooms. I'm like, man, this is, I'm fucking losing it. I am going to start fucking just laughing. And I am i don't want to ruin these people's weird experience because this is obviously way more important. And he goes, and I, I remember they said to me, uh, Michael, uh, why you say you love her? But you lie. And he did it in this like totally unnecessary Asian accent. And all yeah. the, all the, the women are like, oh, like, you know, patting him. Like they're all reacting like he knew. Yeah. So apparently he's, and then he's saying, uh, I love you, but I'm lying. That song that yeah, I didn't yeah. even know it was a I love you, but I'm Ryan. Yeah. I love you. I love you, but I'm Ryan. <laughs> and then the rest of them like, like her. <laughs> Apparently he's a huge like he's like the David Hasselhoff of f- fucking of China Korea. or something. Yeah, of Korea. Uh so then he goes, <laughs> he goes, I just got back uh, from touring Asia. I'm like, oh man, this is so I'm get I'm feeling so high, just trying not to laugh. My girlfriend uh, he starts singing this song. He goes, This is a cover that we would sing on tour from uh Ging Ka Hua. And it's like it's called Prayer. And I'm like, oh no. Oh no, you have to be kidding me. He's singing fucking he's on tour singing religious songs to Korean. Like this is this guy's life now. And he starts going into this goofy, ah, uh, like, you know how you can tell when it's not an American song. Like yeah, you're like, there's no, I don't know what, the, what there's not a chorus or a verse. It's like a schmorris or something. Like, I don't know what this is. <laughs> this blonde lady is singing and he's just standing there. Ha, ha, and <laughs> I can <laughs> fucking out. feel my girlfriend looking at me and I'm like, I'm like just <laughs> eyes tightly clenched, mouth closed, like just trying not to laugh because they got it's all over the big screens and we have like a perfect straight down front view and I can fucking feel her looking at me going like, are you fucking serious? <laughs> like, just please, please be over. Please be over. Uh, and then he, t- he started telling a story about his grandson and just had a Mitch McConnell like pause for like six seconds. Oh. And then said, uh, he's like, my grandson, Dylan. Dylan. Um, I meant Bob Dylan. Anyway, here's the song. I'm like, oh, he goes, <laughs> next song. Like, I'm like, oh my God, dude, this is, <laughs> this is unbelievable. Yeah, in your moment in the <laughs> middle of his big Korean show. It was so much funnier than I thought it would have been. <laughs> I'm going hey, to scour the always. internet for Michael Bolton performing in Asia and try to find because it sounds to me like the kind of bits that like he does every show because it kills every time. And yeah, like, oh, they, they they always titter when I when I when I do that part. They love they love those, this one. The, that all that Asian cunt out there is getting soaking wet. Let me tell you, like he's <laughs> that's that's how Michael Bolton talks, and then he goes back to. <laughs> Anyway, was it called the was it called the Asia tour? I don't know. I hope. 
<laughs> that's, that's no, the, the first other thing one. That shows up. They're all young. <laughs> all of the people were young. It was so. Uh, it was so weird. It was not what I was expecting. Pe- he he uh he sort of ha- ha- he accidentally sort of went to a Michael Bolton concert. Turns out he kills with the Asians. The crowd's ninety percent nice. Asian. They're all oh, like, yeah. Oh, Michael Bolton son is about to be up and like losing their shit. So I, I want to delve son. deeper into this. You mentioned Hasselhoff. People maybe don't know. He was this minor celebrity in the U.S. at Baywatch and everything. It's like, oh, yeah, it's Hasselhoff or whatever. He was this international musical sensation in Europe. They loved really? his fucking. Yeah. Yes. Like oh. a big deal. The ha. And do you know why he's not famous in the U.S. as an international? Uh, because he was my, uh, David Hasselhoff. He was in Europe, nailing it huge. Everybody loved him. He was going to do his U.S. musical debut. And that's when OJ did his uh, Bronco chase. That night was David Hass- Hasselhoff's big pay-per-view event. No. And OJ fucking killed his wife and escaped through the Broncos. So it totally fucked up his his U.S. music launch. Oh, I think. God he's damn it, OJ. there. Turns out OJ ruined more than two lives that night. <laughs> yes. That's <laughs> what he stole from us. Career. He stole so much from us, and his Twitter's not even that funny. OJ? Yeah. OJ. A lot of it is just like jokes like, ha, oh, I killed her. Jo- J- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine if I murdered someone and was <laughs> tweeting from a golf course drinking a Mai Tai right now, and it's just like him, sunglasses on, Mai Tai. Yeah. Wearing like like holding up like what do you guys think about my golf glove? And it's like, oh J- Jesus, OJ. 